you've got to be really stupid for Judge Judy to call your ass a moron. But this um, young man's dog was attacked by this gentleman's pit bull. Now, I've owned a pit bull, but I found this pit bull on my porch. I slammed the door. I called my husband. I, I cracked the door. And actually, he was the sweetest pit bull ever. I kept him for a long time. I think it's all about how you train your dog. But they are dangerous um, and yeah, you, if you're going to walk them, you know, let them out to use the bathroom, you need to have them on a leash. You're making them take a risk that they didn't ask for. Why would you subject a child, yours or anybody else's, from an animal that's capable, capable of causing serious physical injury? Read the papers. There's a list of dogs in most states that insurance companies won't even insure your house mm -hmm. if you have a particular breed of dog. Why do you think they do that? They're in business to make money. And all you pit bull owners out there, I've heard the hate mail, don't bother, I don't read it. A lot of bad owners out there. I'm sure that there are terrific pit bull pets that are wonderful. They have the capacity to kill you. They have been known to kill you. I never knew anybody that got killed by a Shih Tzu <laughs> or a Yorkie or a Chihuahua. <laughs> never. But if you go on Google and find out how many deaths and serious physical injuries were caused in the last year by pit bulls, mm. I tell you what we're going to do. Sarah's going to look at it. I've never looked at the number. I'm like, yeah, I... God, don't speak. What you're supposed to do is put a leash on your dog and get your behind out of the house and walk the dog. Because there's no question in my mind that you and boyfriend went out downstairs to the grass area because you actually went out of the house. They didn't come and arrest you for leaving the house, did they, when you ran outside uh, after yeah. your dog? No, they didn't arrest you. Mm. All right. So you could just as easily have taken the dog out to one of these grass areas that's right near your house to relieve itself. But you were too lazy. Do we have a number? Well, it looks like out of 430 do fatal dog attacks, 185 were caused by pit bulls in the mm. state of Washington. Oh, Not even half. Just... <laughs> how do you... The life. You know how many... Hundreds of breeds of dogs there are, you idiot. <laughs> Do you know how many hundreds of breeds of dogs there are? So practically 50% of the deaths in the state where you live from dog attacks were pit bulls. I want you to look and see how many dog deaths in the state of Washington were caused by chihuahuas in the same period. <laughs> yes. And your counterclaim for harassment is dependent upon this number. Because if this number is more than zero, I will actually entertain your counterclaim for harassment. Otherwise, I'm tossing it. Well, that's between 2005 and 2018 in the entire United States, two. From a chihuahua. Appreciate that. In the entire United States. I'll take it. From 2005. 2005? Until 2005. You'll take what? More than zero, what you just said. Oh, God, that I'm going to hear your counterclaim. Do you understand? 200 people died in your state as a result of pit bull attacks. And that's a sad situation. Yeah, just a second. So you have to be a moron to allow a dog like that around children. You have to be a moron. I'm not a moron. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> now you have a counterclaim. Well, you're a moron. <laughs>